Welcome back team forever, back again with another video and I'm back with another Big Brother All-Star Season 7 video. And I know what y'all are thinking, if y'all actually watch my old Big Brother All-Star videos from Season 7, y'all like, uh, did you just take like a big hiatus? Well, the answer is yes, I did. I stopped watching. I haven't watched in like, it's almost been a year, right? Like, I don't know, I feel like my last video, it, it seemed like it was inside like November, but it might have been in January or March, I don't know, I don't really remember. No, no way, no way. It might have been in January, the earliest, the latest, the earliest I could have watched this season would have been January, because February, I wasn't even making videos for like a while. I was moving and stuff, had a lot going on personally. With moving, nothing needed, nothing major, just moving. Um, but, <laughs> I watched season, I watched episode 10, 11, and 12, and now I'm about to review those, and I'm just about to try to hurry up and finish this season, because Big Brother All-Star Season 22 is on now, and I want y'all to check out those videos, so make sure y'all follow along with that. But, my notes go. So, start off with Janelle winning HOH. This is the Season 6 Alliance fourth week in a row winning HOH, and this is what I'm just like so, like my head hurt. I be talking to James Ryan on Twitter, or how do you say his last name? Uh, well, I haven't did it lately, but I remember when I was first watching this season, I was watching it. And I'm just like, he just like, keep watching. Just I'm not going to spoil anything. Just keep watching. Keep watching. But I, I'm just like, what? how did none of them win? Y'all had a four-person strong-ass alliance. Why is Chill Town still in the house? And then this week, this is why I don't understand why they say Janelle's one of the best players. Because, okay, let's just get to it. So, she nominates Erica and Book. Now, at first, I'm like, all right, maybe she's cool with chill time so she's in with them so there's no reason for her to nominate them but then like you look at the way will act and then her and boogie don't get along apparently so it's just like it just don't make sense whatever erica and boogie are nominated janelle tells so then they pick players for the veto competition and i i know like so obviously the three are playing the nominees the three the two nominees and the hoh and then i think will ended up playing Howie and Diane. Janelle told Howie, well, first of all, I gotta say, season six didn't want Janelle to do what she did, but she decided not to put Will up. She decided to put Boogie, Boogie and Erica, as they call it, a floater. I'm just like, well, I'm my head mind blown, mind blown by this. It's, it's so stupid. And the, I don't even think one of the season six people even made it to the final two. That like I'm I'm excited to see how this plays out. Um, I did get spoiled by watching season twenty two. I know that Kaser don't make it to jury. I know that. And I know Janelle actually does get rid of Doctor Will at some point. So I'm a little bit spoiled on this season, just a little bit. But anyway, so Janelle told Howie don't to go to make sure Diane and Erica don't win. Like Howie's dumbass actually listened, didn't even question it. So they do it and. Then, Boogie ends up winning. So then the season six of the Lions are right, already right, put up uh, Will, and then Janelle's like, no, I'm gonna put up Diane. Like, what the, like, I'm so confused. So they're like, what are you doing? You just handing them the game, what's going on? And then like, uh, James, who's the only smart one I'm convinced, cause Kaser is good friends with Janelle, I guess. He just goes along with anything she said. So James is like, all right, how did he even end up winning? And Janelle's like, oh. And she started lying or talking about, oh, he just won. And then, James is smart, like, but why didn't y'all go after her, him? And then Janelle's like, oh, we did. And then Howie called her out, which I thought was kind of funny and kind of like, whoa. He's like, Janie, what are you smoking? Because you told me to go after Erica and Diane. So Janelle got caught in a lie. And, I, and at first, I can see this. Like, if Janelle felt safe with Chill Town, and yeah, Chill Town will go after her alliance, but they're not going after her. I can understand these moves. But... Will don't give a f he don't care about Janelle. Boogie don't like Janelle. So I just don't see where, like, how are they not a threat to you, Janelle? I'm, so, I'm just, my head hurts. And that's why I'm like, while well, people say she's one of the best players to never win, I'm just like, how, where, how, what? Confused. But, you know, I am, like, I, we haven't even got the jury yet. So maybe she go do some stuff to surprise me. So season six pretty much implodes because at the nomination ceremony, I, I was starting to think like, oh, maybe she is gonna put up Will. But I do know because Will always, when he's host the um, round tables, he always says, 
I'm a former winner and a former jury member. And I counted the people and I'm like, oh, this isn't jury yet. So there's no way that Will is going home. I, I counted that out. So she nominated Diane um, and season six pretty much implodes. Because uh, James don't want to be with them no more. And he's kind of letting it be known to Janelle. I mean, at least from what I'm looking at on screen. Uh, Kaser and Janelle seem pretty close. And uh, Kaser kind of stands with Janelle. He, he stands about the decision. Uh, it seems like the whole house is mad, though, at Janelle. Even chill time. Like, they just just laughing in her face of what's going on. So I'm thinking that maybe she had a, a crush on uh, on Will, and that's why she was doing it. But she says she don't. So then we see James and Danielle, my girl Danielle Reyes. And they, they, James is confiding to her, saying, yeah, I'm done. I want to backdoor her. James, don't let your emotions get involved. That's stupid. Don't go after somebody who's not going after you. Always go after the person. And I'm talking like I played this before. But, yeah, so he confides in Janelle. And I would have loved, or in Danielle, I would have loved to see that those two as an alliance. But then Danielle went and told Chill Town. And Chill Town started laughing. So Danielle's like, oh, that would be us for it. It would be us, us and James. And then James talked to Will and was like, yeah, I'm going after her. The thing is, this doesn't make sense. And then James wanted to, uh, I'm just like, I want y'all to think about this. Think about this. The reason why James is mad is because Danielle didn't put up Will. So, Danielle, you're going to go and tell Will that that's why he's mad? And then, James, you talk to Will and you say you're mad at Janelle and you don't think James or uh, Will is thinking like, well, why are you mad at Janelle? Why do you want to go after Janelle now? Because she didn't put me up. So, she saved me and now you want me to align with you to get her out because she saved me. It don't make sense. Like, these people, I'm just like, what the heck? I'm so confused. But it seemed like the whole house was upset with Janelle. Like, everybody. I don't think anybody was not upset. It's so weird. Because she saved Will. She's an idiot. I'm sorry. I love Janelle. I love, but Will don't care. He wants to go. He keeps letting it be known. He, and I don't think it's a front. I don't think it's a front. I think he wanted to go home for real. So you put somebody up who wants to be there. When you kept Will there, Will still don't give a fuck about you. He wants to... It's, it's my head hurt. Like watching Big Brother, like y'all should see me when I watch season 19. Oh God, imagine me watching season 19, that season. But this, like Danielle, this was this or Janelle, this was a horrible, horrible week. But uh, so where am I? Where am I? Chill time laugh. So yeah, Chill Time was laughing in everybody's face. Like, ah, oh, so stupid, so stupid. Uh, so then Danielle started campaigning to keep Diane. Like, did, or, yeah, Danielle was really campaigning. She wanted to not give Janelle what she wanted, and Will was okay with it. Will was on board to do it, which just tells you, Janelle, you're doing this to help somebody out who don't care. He don't care about you. He don't care about this game. He don't care about nothing. And you are... Calm down, Lorenzo. I just went on a tangent, calmed myself down, and then went on another one. Uh, let's get back to it. Uh, yeah, Julie, I, so then we get to the uh, elimination ceremony or the eviction ceremony and uh, Janelle's in her little thing and her little suite talking to Julie uh, where the other house guests can't hear and uh, Julie straight up asked, what's going on with you and Will? And Janelle said no quick, so I don't think Jan Jan Janelle actually had a crush on Will. Uh, I heard that they had a little flirt man on this season, but like, I haven't seen it on the show, so I'm just going off of what I've seen. Then Julie asked about her loyalties. She said that she was loyal to, who was it? Was it Howie? Howie first, then Marcellus, Kaser, James. That was her four. And then she, they asked, uh, Julie asked about Chill Town. She said she's not loyal to them at all. That's not an alliance. Marcellus isn't an alliance either, but she just loved Marcellus. Then they started talking about Marcellus uh, because Marcellus was upset with Janelle too. So then Julie started talking about Outside of the Janelle interview, she started talking about how Marcella sometimes loves Janelle, but then sometimes hates her. Then we saw a video package from, I guess, to some girl named Amy from season three, who was uh, Marcella's first Janelle. And uh, I really hated this package because the girl, what was up? Like, did, like in these earlier seasons, they are pretty savage with everything, but she called Janelle like a transvestite. It said her, her face was ugly. It said she was ugly on the outside and inside. It was pretty, like, rough. Like, 
even though this was back in the day, like I'm surprised people are so bold to say this type of stuff to these people about these people on TV. Like they gonna see it. Like I mean, and not that like you should be scared that they gonna see it. It's just like dang, like why call somebody ugly on TV? Like why when they're gonna see it? Like it's just mean. I don't know. But maybe I'm just mean. But I don't know. It just seems so so weird to do. So then the votes, oh, and I guess Amy and Marcella, they're not even cool no more. Like, Marcella, Amy said a lot of bad stuff about Marcella. But anyway, uh, we get to the vote, and Will actually voted to keep Erica, or to get to keep Diane. So she, he was the only vote to vote it to keep Diane. Uh, by a vote of 7 to 1, Diane was evicted. She already knew her speech. I liked her speech, but she kind of outed. I mean, I knew, you know, she was going because Erica's in the final two. I'm spoiled by that. I'm spoiled by a lot of stuff in the season, actually. I don't know who's in the final four. I know who the final three is. I don't know who's in the final five, either. Uh, but anyway, uh, she basically, in her speech, said that uh, don't make, this is All-Stars, why would y'all make a promise? Because that's another thing. A lot of people didn't want to change their vote because they already promised to keep Erica when they thought it was going to be Will, who was going to be next to them. Like The whole house was ready to get rid of Will, except Janelle. She was the only one. So she basically said, I would like to stay, but I know what's about to happen. Uh, then the the interview with Julie, Julie said, oh, so it was Nokomis, then it was Jace, and now it's you. So season five is gone. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. I didn't even recognize that at all. Uh, so season five just like went like, shoo, shoo, went right out. Uh, then we see how, like the speeches, I actually wrote this down, like Howie's creepy speech. Mention that. Howie is... A creeper already. He's so creepy inside the house. The way he always kiss every single girl. Like, and he, like, like he'd be kissing them on the... It's either he kissed them right on the lips or like real close to their lips. It's so weird. And remember when he was on the block with his girl? I forget her name, but it was on season six. It was him and her on the block. And he kissed her like five times. Like five times. Like... It was so awkward. Like, five times he kissed her. Watch that. Watch when, uh, I think she got evicted. Not him. But it was him and his, or, I think she got evicted. And I don't know her name, but I know that they were all, like, duos on that season. Uh, watch. It was him and her on the block, and he kissed her, like, five times. It was just, but in his speech, he's like, oh, it was nice to look at you by the pool and in the kitchen and when I sleep. Howie is a weirdo. I don't know. Like, it's, like, he cannot be on the season. That's probably why he didn't get caught back for this All-Stars. Because the stuff he say is just is weird. Then we go to the HOH comp. And it's like a, a tangled web of lies or something like that. Temptation. This competition looks so easy. So easy. Like, you don't even need strength. I'm excited to see how it plays out. Because I thought they had to hang from the web. From the, up under. But they literally got on top of the web. So they just like chilling at the top. So maybe it's just like endurance and like it's gonna last like 12 hours until somebody wanna get down because they gotta pee or be hungry or you know like stomach hurt or something like that or they get uncomfortable. But if this lasts like an hour or two, like it seems so easy. I don't know what's going on. But I think, okay, so it was, the vote was seven to one. So that's eight people voted and three people don't. So that's 11 people. So 11 people and the jury is gonna be seven people. So. That means we need nine people, so two more people will get evicted. And I know one of those two people is gonna be Kaser. So I'm thinking Kaser might leave this week. So that means that the HOH, uh, the HOH might be Boogie. I can see Boogie winning this one, actually. Not Will. Uh, but I can see Boogie winning this. Uh, I can see Danielle winning this. But Danielle wouldn't get rid of Kaser, would she? Mm. Who can I see winning? Or season six might win again, and then Kaser might leave next week. I don't, know. I don't know. But that's it for this video, y'all. Be sure to leave this video a like, comment, subscribe, share it on all front social media. I promise y'all, I'm gonna try to finish this season before the end of the year. Catch y'all later.